Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title today, we're gonna to be doing another one brand tutorial. I love making these, especially because you love watching these. So today, this video was mainly sponsored by the Jaclyn Hills uh, Divine Neutrals palette. I already did one video with this, but I figured why not use it one more time and then give you guys a full face of Morphe. The so half of the face is actually gonna be first impressions and the other half are gonna be products that I either love or dislike. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty, two things, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, number one, I am filming in the evening yet again, so in my window you'll probably see, blah, 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 I can't talk, you'll, you'll probably see the sunset and a little bit of a shift in light. I just haven't had time to film in the morning because I'm so busy, so in the evenings is the only time that I can. I hope that you guys don't mind. And then lastly, I've been getting a lot of comments about my wedding band. I'm not married yet. I appreciate the congratulations. I just love wearing my wedding band sometimes. When I'm married, I will let you know. Um, I still have a couple videos left in the wedding series for you guys, but if you do want to see me pick out this wedding band, you can watch this video right here. But no, I'm not married yet. Um, hmm, I think we're going to start out with the face today, switch it up a little bit. And yeah, I guess I'll zoom you guys in and we can get started. So the only product that I don't have from Morphe is actually a primer. I was at Ulta today and they didn't have it. So that's the only thing I don't have. So I just went ahead and like primed with some moisturizer. So I'm obviously only going to use one foundation, but I did want to say that both that I have from Morphe I really enjoy and it is these two. So this is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation and then this one is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. I'm gonna be using this one today because as you can see, I'm a little bit darker and this is gonna be a little bit too light for me, but I really enjoy both. This one's gonna be a little bit more of your full coverage, medium to full coverage, but it still has a natural finish. And this one's gonna be pretty lightweight, still gives you a good medium coverage, but definitely more lightweight, more during the daytime. If you wanna see a review on this, check this video out. So in the Hint Hint Skin Tint, I use the shade Hint of Walnut. You wanna shake this up because it is pretty liquidy. When I first purchased this, I never, ever, ever put it down. I love anything that's lightweight with like medium coverage. It is a little bit more on like the hydrating side. So I will say, um, keep that in mind if you do have oily skin. But if you do have normal to dry skin and you want like a very lightweight, light to medium coverage, I really think you're gonna love this. You can go in with a light hand and have a little bit more of like a lighter coverage, but I will say for how thin and liquidy it is, it gives way more coverage than you think, and it wears really, really beautifully. So another reason why I decided to go with the Hint Hint Skin Tint is because I actually ended up getting the matching concealer. And this is the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. I got in the shade Peak of Sand, which is a medium shade with olive undertones. And it's supposed to be light to medium coverage. Usually I like a full coverage, but I can appreciate a more natural concealer. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Not too light with those golden undertones. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to prime my eyes as well. Ooh, this is actually blending out pretty nice. And I will say it has more like medium coverage. It's not really that light, which I like. I'm sure you can go in with less product and get like a more natural look. I don't really love natural concealers and this actually looks so beautiful. It covered enough to give me that bright effect. I don't know, it just looks natural. It's still like a little bit dewy. It's very lightweight. Obviously I have to see what it's like, you know, set, but I don't know. I feel like we could all agree that my complexion looks pretty good right now. So, so far, so good. I obviously like how these two go together, which they were meant to. Okay, so I am gonna be trying out their loose setting powder. I've actually heard really, really great things about this. This is called their Bacon Set Setting Powder. They have a couple shades. I decided to go the safe route and get a translucent shade. It looks like it is one of those powders that are finely milled, but they're not like super finely milled, like HD powders. I don't really like those, so I'm gonna go ahead and set. By the way, I always get questioned on these brushes with this handle. These are all from BK Beauty. Ooh, this is so lightweight. This is literally so lightweight. Like, I don't feel like it's drying out my skin, which is super nice. And it's not really mattifying that much. It's kind of just setting and taking the shine away, but it doesn't look 
like dry. This set my skin really, really nicely and it doesn't look cakey or heavy or dry. The skin still looks pretty natural. You can still see a little bit of luminosity coming in. That's what I'm saying, it like set, but it didn't really mattify. I'm really, really liking how my complexion is looking. So far, it just looks like obviously like a morning makeup, but just very natural makeup. So, so far, I'm so far so good this is awesome so for bronzer and like contour i already have this palette this is the morphe highlight and contour palette in the shade hi-fi 8h and i'm gonna hold it upside down this is what it looks like it does have a big old mirror so i'm gonna go in with the shade donut which is this one right here and just sculpt out my cheeks a little bit i don't really ever contour anymore but just for the sake of this palette I'm gonna go ahead and use it. It's been such a long time since I've used this palette. I'm pretty sure I liked the formula. I just wasn't obsessed with the shades of the bronzers. And now I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and do some bronzer. I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called Debutante. I actually really like this shade in particular, but the other two shades are way too red for me. By the way, all these bronzers are matte. I've noticed that they're pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented to where you're adding like way too much to your face. So they're nice and buildable. It's probably enough bronzer. I am looking so like natural for me because I usually wear so much makeup, but that actually was really nice. Like I said, I'm used to more pigmented bronzers, but if you like something that's more buildable, this looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna come back to this palette to use the highlighters. Okay, so for blush, I do have two blush palettes that I love, but I wanted to try something new as well from Morphe 2. I've been dying to get my hands on this. Ever since I saw it, it's just like a product for me. This is the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse, again, from Morphe 2. And this one is in the shade Amaze. I am a sucker for berry tones. I love berry tones. That's mainly what I wear. So I'm going to go ahead and use this on the cheeks and then I maybe add some like powder blush to it. I understand that I already have powder, but this is a mousse. I have a feeling I can make it work. The only thing is because it is a mousse, I feel like you have to go in with a kind of a light hand. Maybe blend it out a little bit on the back of my hand. And now I'm going to go on the cheeks. So far, so good. The only thing is, I feel like it's not blending very well with that brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge. Okay, I just realized that that brush was way too dense. And this looks 10 times better. I was starting not to like it. Use something a little bit less dense because that e.l.f. brush was way too tough. And you really do need something like a little bit lighter just to really blend that mousse out. This is the Morphe Jack and Hill JH04. I actually really like that i feel like it added just a little bit of glow but it doesn't look dewy and it's not dewy feeling so it's kind of like the best of both worlds for me it added that glow without being like sticky or wet so that looks really pretty i'm a fan of everything that i've tried so far which is awesome so i'm only going to use one of these but i just wanted to show you guys because i think these are awesome especially if you're like a makeup artist these are the morphe blush palettes i have the cool one and the warm one this is oh uh, I just stabbed myself. This is the cool one and it does have mattes and shimmers. And then this one is the warm one. Again, light, dark, shimmer, and matte. They're a little bit darker than they look on the camera. Like this shade's way darker than it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'll use this berry shade with a super light hand and a very fluffy brush just to set it just to set it and forget it. But I love, 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 love these palettes. I'm glad I did this video because I haven't gotten them out of my makeup drawers in a while. And I know, I know I have a lot of blush on, but just remember, it all comes together in the end. It's not even blush, guys. I'm just blushing because you guys are so nice. Let's go back to the highlighter just to kind of finish off the base. I'm going to go ahead and use Venus. I'll probably just mix these two. And I'm going to go in with a super light hand. You guys know how I feel about highlighter. I'm just not like the biggest highlighter person anymore. I like to add glow. I just don't like to be blinding anymore. Again, very, very light hand because these are actually really, really pigmented as you can probably tell by now. So I do think that if you like the shades and undertones of this palette, it is absolutely worth your money. I'm looking very sunburnt. I know it is what it is. 
we have fun on this channel. We don't care if we look a little weird. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's test out the brow pencil. This was only like six bucks, I believe. This is the micro brow pencil. I ended up getting the shade Mocha. I'm assuming this is gonna be exactly like every other micro pencil, kind of like the NYX one. Obviously, um, there's a lot of high-end brow pencils like this and it's always good to have affordable options. Spoolie on one side and then the micro brow on the other. So that's the color right there. I actually really, really like that color. I'm just gonna go ahead and do little, little hair strokes. I really like to go for a more natural brow look nowadays. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do right now. Huh, so far, I really like it. It's one of those pencils that it's not too pigmented to where it is like way too much and it's adding too much product to your eyebrows but it's also not so waxy that you're literally like janking janking yanking that you're yanking on your skin and it's like hard to get product once it warms up it's actually giving me the perfect amount of product i really like this shade it's a little bit warmer than my microblading which is actually nice because my hair is just a little bit warmer. Is this video going really well or what? I'm not used to that. Sometimes when I do a full face of like other brands, at least half of it goes wrong. But so far, I am loving everything and it makes me so happy because I know a lot of us have kind of written Morphe off, but I will say these products, pretty good and pretty affordable. So moving on to the eyes, I'll go through this pretty quickly just because I don't want this video to be too long. Again, I'll be using the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. This palette is $18 and it does have mattes and shimmers. I already did a day to night look with this palette. If you guys want to watch it, I'll put it right here. I want to do an all matte look just because we do have a mascara to try and I feel like when I use shimmers, you can't really see the mascara. I've been playing with this for um, about a week now and I've been using it like ever since I bought it. and. The mattes in here are amazing, but the shimmers are okay. They're good, but the mattes are amazing. I do think it's worth your money. I do think it's worth your $18. I think it's really pretty. I just came back from Vegas and this is all I wore and it stayed on all day. So that's a good wear test right there. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is gonna be Good Vibes. Good Vibes. Good vibes only. Good vibes. Okay, guys. I know how to pronounce it. It just slips my mind sometimes. But now since everybody's making it a big old joke, I'm just going to stick to my good vibes. I'm literally just going to put this all over the crease. I'm going to go for a very simple but sultry matte fall eye. Now with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's called Booked. And with a light hand, I'm just gonna deepen out the crease as well, but I'm gonna keep it lower than that transition shade. Okay, and now that we did that, I'm gonna mix Boo Bear, which is this dark one, and Booked, and I'm gonna put that on the lid. Um, I'm mixing them because I have a feeling that Boo Bear is gonna be just a little bit too dark. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with these two shades as well as the transition shade, which is Good Vibes. And I'm just gonna go literally just back and forth until I get it as diffused as I like. So I'll be right back. So far, I have no fallout. I'm trying to decide if I wanna get one of the shimmers and just like tap it on top just to get like a little bit of glimmer. I'm gonna grab Strip Tease, which is this one right here. And literally, I'm just gonna grab some. This is what it looks like, but I'm just gonna tap it just to see if anything happens. I feel like this just adds just a little bit of like light. Very subtle, but I do think it gives you that really pretty glimmer. By the way, I am holding it upside down because of the mirror. So I'm gonna go in with like a pointy little tapered brush and I'm gonna grab Boo Bear, which is that very dark shade. And I'm gonna keep it very, very close to the lash line and mainly only on the outer corner just so that our eyes don't get so closed off. I really like these mattes just because you can build them up so quick, but you can buff them out so quick at the same time. They're just like the perfect formula. So now I'm going to grab um, a mixture of like booked and good vibes and I'm just going to smoke it out. And because we are going to be trying out a mascara, 
I'm not going to do liner or anything like that just because I really do want to see how it looks. So lastly, I am going to grab a wet brush and I'm going to go in the shade Birthday Suit, which is the second shimmer, and use that as my inner corner highlight. I really wish the lightest shades would have not been pink just because all these shades are like such pretty warm neutrals. I really wish this would have been like a pale gold shimmer and this would have been a matte bone color. That's the only thing I would change about this palette. But other than that, I am obsessed with it. So this is what the look looks like. I hope that you guys like it. I love this palette. So for mascara, we're going to be trying out the Make It Big Mascara. It's supposed to be a volumizing mascara. Wow, the packaging is really, really cool. It's like matte with like glossy letters. Okay, sorry about the shimmer on my hands, but this is what the wand looks like. It is a rubber wand. It does have a lot of bristles and that hourglass shade. I meant to say shape. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes real quick and I will be right back. By the way, I do have long lashes. I use an eyelash serum, which I actually link in every single video if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first coat on my right eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know it's literally like two seconds in, but this formula is like sticky, but like in the best way possible. It's coating my lashes so fast. It's like a thick formula. Oh, I am so impressed with Morphe right now. That's one coat, I will say. I'm going in with a pretty light hand because if not, you can get clumpy very quickly. But if you do go in with a light hand, I feel like you can easily like control it and if you have very sparse lashes i have a feeling you're gonna love this i think i need to let this dry before i do a second coat so it doesn't get clumpy so i'm gonna go ahead and do one coat on the other eye as well all right and now for the second coat honestly i don't even think you need a second coat i always wear a second coat but with this mascara it's one of the first mascaras that i genuinely think it's not even necessary why is no one talking about this mascara? I will say the brush does get very, very saturated with product. So if you just take some off, I think that that will help a lot. The fact that I was worried that this eyeshadow would not show my lashes, this has got to be one of my new favorite mascaras. I think the proof is in the pudding. This is the pudding. This is the proof. I mean, look at this. Let's go ahead and set this makeup. I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Um, I don't think I've met one person that didn't like this spray. It is literally just like a hairspray mist and it is beautiful. It's lightweight and it works for a lot of skin types. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Wow, so, so good. For lips, for lips, for lips, for lips. Some favorites of mine, I love morphe lip liners as well as their matte lipstick they're literally seven dollars and they're so good and they're so creamy they remind me a lot of the ColourPop formula those two are my favorite favorite kind of lip liners creamy but not overly creamy to where it glides and doesn't stay on all day okay so these are some of my favorite shades this right here is sweet tea which i use all the time this is Bite Me, so this is a little bit darker of a brown with a little bit of a purple undertone. This is Guide Me. This reminds me a lot of ColourPop 951, which is my favorite. And this is Honeymoon, which is just a beautiful neutral nude shade. Hmm, because we have a lot of brown on the eyes, instead of matching my eyes, I think I'm going to go ahead and use Guide Me just to put a little bit of pinky in there because I'm feeling the pink vibes. 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 I need to sharpen this. I am gonna overline my lips. You guys see how pigmented and smooth that is? And I'm gonna fill in the edges. Beautiful. And for lipstick, uh, my favorite formula so far that I've tried from Morphe is their matte lipsticks. I love the bullet component and the formula. This is in the shade Tempt which is just such a pretty warm nude. This goes with so many lip liners, and right now I'm gonna darken it with this lip liner, but when you apply it with Sweet Tea, it becomes more brown. And so I'm gonna apply that on the lips. It is nice and thick and matte, but comfortable, and it really lasts a really long time. See how pretty that looks? Looks so pretty. Alrighty guys, and this is the final look. 
I have to say, this is probably the first time that I've done a full face of makeup where I don't think, oh, I think I wanna return this. Every single thing that I tried, I genuinely liked, and I will say, I have a lot of makeup, so for me to wanna keep all this makeup, not bad. You will like the powder if you have not oily skin. So right now, like my skin is set, but it doesn't look like it's matte. It doesn't look dry, which is awesome, but I don't know how you would like that if you had oily skin. But if you're looking for a really pretty lightweight powder, you're gonna love this. Everything that I've tried today, I genuinely love. I am very impressed. I feel like a lot of us don't really shop for Morphe anymore, but um, the Jaclyn Hill palette inspired this video, and I'm glad that I did it because I found some new favorites. Guys, this mascara is bonkers. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are still watching, comment a sun because a sun emoji is what we need right now because it is getting dark outside. I hope that you guys like my dad jokes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And yeah, I guess I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.